Right then, this is, the, this is the golden nugget. This is the one that everyone wants to understand and learn to make more sales. How do you rank on Etsy? So I'm gonna take you through this step by step. A lot of this information you won't have heard before, um, but let's get into it and let's understand what's going on here. So how to rank on Etsy is done with quality score. I don't know if you can see that or not, quality score. I'll go over it in black. There we go. Right, quality score. So what is quality score? So this is what Etsy uses. Um, I know everyone on YouTube says that SEO is the thing that ranks items. I'm explaining to you, I'm the only guy that's explained to you that's not the case. It's not SEO, it's quality score. So what is quality score? So qual quality score is Etsy's trust and visibility. Quality score is Etsy's trust and visibility system. So SEO doesn't rank your products because there's no trust in keywords. There isn't. You could write whatever keywords you want, put them with whatever product you want. You can't prove to Etsy through words that your product is, is worth looking at. It's worth Etsy showing to customers who want to spend their money. Etsy puts its trust in money. Money. Money is what Etsy trusts, not keywords. So quality score is where the trust is created. Because if you sell your items, then you have trust and Etsy will give you visibility for that trust. Now, something that a lot of people who may know something about quality score think is about reviews. So you get no quality score, no quality score at all from reviews, no direct quality score. Again, I'm the only person that will be telling you this. Quality score you get indirectly from reviews. Yeah, sure. If people look at your store, they go into your reviews and they go, oh, look, lots of five-star reviews. That gives them confidence to purchase. That's not direct quality score. That's indirect from feeling good and confident in making the purchase from your store. So that is Etsy's trust and visibility system and very straightforward explanation as to how it functions. Right, let's go a bit deeper with quality score. Let's understand the two types of quality score. So the two types of quality score are listing and shop. Listing quality score and shop quality score. So every time you make a sale on Etsy, your listing gets given a unit of quality score. The more of these units of quality score your listing can collect by making sales, the higher your listing will appear inside Etsy's search and non-search areas of the site. So the goal here is to collect quality score and eventually the listing will get a popular now, editor's pick, bestseller. That's the goal. But more importantly, as a byproduct of your listing collecting quality score, guess what happens? Your shop starts to accumulate quality score. So Etsy is looking here and Etsy is looking here to find quality score. Can you collect quality score at the listing level? Can you collect, therefore, quality score at the shop level? I guarantee you, all the Etsy sellers that you see with 10,000 sales, 20,000 sales, thousands and thousands and thousands of sales, they're collecting it at the listing level and at the shop level. That is what's going on with quality score and that's, that's what you need to do. So the final piece of the puzzle is how do you do it? So let's work that out now. So then, final part of this quality score expose today on Etsy is, well, how do you get more sales? So we know that the sales create quality score, quality score creates visibility and you make more sales and so on. But how do you get the sales? Follow these six points and you will make more sales. 
Number one, and I know loads of you have heard me say this over and over again, but so many of you still aren't doing it. List 100 items. List 100 items. Commit to listing 100 items. Do it slowly, one item per day, so that over three to four months, you get 100 items in your store. Having 100 items in your store is 100 ways to be found. That's 100 sets of SEO. That's 100 product phishing mods out there fishing for quality score for you. It's never going to happen with 20 listings, 30 listings. You need a decent amount, and that number is 100. Head to 100. Number two, sell in the 10 to $40 price range. Put all your products in 10 to $40 price range. It doesn't mean you can't have $100 products, $200 products. Of course you can but focus where all the buying is going on on Etsy. Etsy is a sub $100 marketplace. The big purchases, don't take my word for it, go and find 50 stores with over 10,000 sales. Most of them will be selling items between 10 and $40, I guarantee it. Number two, 10 to $40 price point. Number three, really straightforward, but so many people don't do this. Items, people, Items people want. So people want, got to desire the items, they've got to want them. It doesn't matter you creating what you want to create, the customer's got to want to buy it. So try to create stuff you love and people want to buy it. That's the holy grail. Join those two together and you'll be good for making sales. Sell items people want. Number four, some of you, some of you will have heard me talk about this in previous videos. Stock, depth, depth of 20. Make sure you've got 20 of each item in stock. Then Etsy knows you, you are reliable. Remember, Etsy's quality score system is trust and visibility. Well, having a deep stock depth, over 20 items, gives Etsy trust. It says you are available for business, you're serious, you've got a deep stock level. Every time you sell, the item gets renewed, you keep the quality score, you sell again, you keep more quality score. That's how this game works. Stock depth of 20 or more. Number five, no surprise, but so many people don't do this well. Good photography. Make sure your photography is good. Make sure your primary image is front and center, not with the tops cut off or the bottoms, not out of focus, not with a, with a, a background that this, that's the same color as the object. I see so many silver jewelry pieces on white or grey backgrounds. You can't even see the jewellery. You've got to contrast the background with your foreground object for sale. Think about your photography. Show the packaging. Show the item and the packaging together. Give the customer the buying experience with good photography. So many people don't know how to do this right. Good photography, number five. And this is one of the biggest conversion increases out there. Good video. Make good videos for your products. Five to ten seconds long. Film it with a phone. There's no sound. Show the product in use. Show the product in use. That's all you've got to do so that people can get a, a, a real experience. They see all the lovely photos. They look at the video. They get every piece of information they need to know. Video will increase your conversion rate significant, significantly. So make sure you use it. So that is how to rank on Etsy. Get into my comments. I want to hear what you think about this video. Did it help you? Did it get your brain thinking about how to improve your Etsy store? And anything else you want to say, get into my comments. As you can see on my channel, I'm not Mickey Mouse. I don't mess around. I answer all my um, uh, follower comments. And I love to be part of my community that I'm creating with you guys. See you soon.